It's on camera. People can't make up the story of what happened. They see what happened. Chicago rapper Lil Durk charged and possibly serving life. But the court case may not be as clear cut the way you think. Let's go into it. Durk is under some of the most severe charges of his career. Legal problems are not new for him, but this time the stakes are higher than ever. Connected directly to the passing of his close buddy King Vaughn, a name still resonates in the rap community, Durk has been dragged into an allegedly for hire scheme. He is no for getting at his enemies a habit from his old Chicago street life. A few words against Little Dirk, you in the dirt. Showing how Dirk's history could be coming up with him, this story of devotion, retribution, and events spanning Chicago to Los Angeles shows fans and enemies alike are wondering, how will this end for Lil Dirk when so many big players have taken part? Let us dissect the specifics and see what this may mean for his future. First chapter, the get back of loyalty and the legacy of King Vaughn. Like I said, I really don't have beef with the world. My beef is really mainly in the music industry. Lil Durk has always been about loyalty, especially with people he regards as family. His tight bond with King Vaughn was most apparent of this. When Vaughn passed suddenly in Atlanta, it marked a turning moment for Durk rather than just a loss. The investigation on this shootout will continue. No of these three suspects, watch that car there that's moving. Hey, bring them back. I was relieved for the community, man. Cause he was over there torturing them guys, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Look, some people need to be gone, bro. Refusing to allow the passing of his friend go unpunished, he openly discussed his loss and made it plain that he would do whatever it would take to preserve Vaughn's reputation. But with Quando Rondo's group, who many felt to be accountable for Vaughn's passing, this allegiance would cause tensions to reach a breaking point. Like, like when Vaughn's situation was, it's on camera. People can't make up the story of what happened, they see what happened. So it's like, damn, what Quando did, said, or whatever. According to federal prosecutors, Dirk followed extraordinary steps in that loyalty. How'd y'all meet? Now we grew up together. We grew up together. Hey man, if your, if your brother got on half a million worth of jewelry, he gonna have a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So we, that's, how we, that's how we move. They assert he and many others in his OTF group started plotting vengeance on Quando Circle, a scheme reportedly responsible for the Los Angeles disastrous opening fire of Quando Rondo's cousin, Lo Pab. This was more than simply street rules. It was Dirk's message, one many saw as always safeguarding Vaughn's legacy at whatever means. Even when people are like, they're disrespecting, that's your, that's, that's your, like your bro, bro. You know what I mean? So like, but it's like, what I'm gonna do? <laughs> you think I'm gonna hop on there and tell you I'm gonna kill you? I play my game, I just sit back. Watch. Just hours after five men associated with him were arrested for taking part in a for hire plot in the shooting of a rap rival. Second chapter, from Chicago to Los Angeles. Plot thickens, millions to metal bars. The federal indictment creates an intricate chain of events. Claiming only to exact retribution for Vaughn's shooting, OTF members went to Los Angeles on Dirk's orders. Allegedly, Lo PAB and Quando Rondo were apparently in Los Angeles for business in August 2022 when a shooting claimed lives. A white automobile approaches their SUV on surveillance footage from a petrol station close to the Beverly Center. Shots were fired, anarchy broke out, out, and low PAB was gravely injured at the end of the event. No! Savannah rapper Quando Rondo, a passenger in that car, frantic at the site. Following the incident, the surreal cries of Quando Rondo went viral and faithfully captured the immense suffering and destruction of that event. This was an unbelievable scenario, a reminder of exactly how real and nasty these street rivalries can get. I guess he did end up sliding for Vaughn. How online pressure shapes reality. Lil Durk's predicament serves as a sobering reminder of how social media could drive people into risky situations. Starting as a term online, the slide for Vaughn, a viral meme to seek vengeance driven by supporters and trolls pushing Dirk to exact revenge for King Vaughn. This was more than simply fan jabs. It was enhanced by people like Six, who taunted Dirk with smiling emojis and remarks like, your man got shot and you made a diss track. Go get a nine and get some get back. Your man got shot, he not coming back. Go get a nine and get some get back. You a I knew you wouldn't ride for your homie. I knew you wouldn't ride by your dolly. For Dirk, who is already under public scrutiny and where words on a screen allegedly drive someone into trashing what they have created. Chapter three, Dirk's anti-snitching approach could be the end of him. One of his lawyers tells us he is now possibly in federal custody. Lil Dirk has long been outspoken about his views on snitching, a subject he often covers on social media and in his songs. In his song, No Auto Dirk, he singles out rats who follow the rules. In green light, he raps 
taps on remaining faithful even in the face of dire repercussions. Snitching is the ultimate treachery, one he has never crossed, but this idea makes his ongoing legal fight much more difficult. Working with prosecutors might result in a less sentence, maybe even freedom given the weight of the allegations against him. If you a rat, you a rat. And if you rewind this clip a little bit, I looked into the camera and I told you, if you a rat, I hate you. I love thug. Supporters and those who know Dirk, however, know that is not his way. Dirk's loyalty is a code, not merely a phrase. Though it would rescue him from a life behind bars, the same morality that drew him near to Vaughn prevents him from making a deal. Chapter 4. Loyalty's Expensive Cost Loyalty to Dirk is like having a two-edged blade. If I told on Vaughn, I wouldn't even be right here. I, wouldn't, I, don't, even, I don't even think I'd be alive. He died, though. Like, you no, know what I mean? I, I don't even think I'd be alive. If you told on him, but he's dead? Yeah. Tell him this, tell him. Yeah, tell him this, tell him. At the end of tell him this, tell him. I won't be alive. Like, I won't say I'll be around very serious people. Like, got me to my point or my mind. You think I'm finna go in there and see him over. It has earned him recognition in the rap scene, but also caught him in terrible tension. Reflecting a dedication to those he deems close, his only the family, OTF concept, treats friends as family and values devotion above all else. But this loyalty might be the very thing pushing him down a disastrous road. I went to jail for three months. Mm -hmm. And, um, I had my son while I was in jail, which is like everything just like changed. And did that change your Yeah, your it changed mindset? my whole vision where it's like by my father uh, being in jail while I was born, I was seven months. I'm just like, this ain't what I want to do. But I I still had no goal. I was like, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. And Sosa just came out to, just had the city on fire with the music. Reese had the city on fire. You know what I'm saying? We just followed each other's footsteps and just went from there. Prosecutors claim that Dirk's attachment to Vaughn's memory drove him allegedly to plan the in for hire scheme. Dirk allegedly not only understood the scheme, but also gave financial assistance so his staff can fly from Chicago to Los Angeles, stay in motels, and get ready for the attack. Dirk's unwillingness to collaborate or take a plea deal only serves to confirm his commitment by demonstrating his desire to stick to his code, even if it means sacrificing his freedom. Lil Dirk been picked up by the feds. I don't know if he's been charged with nothing. Probably questioning it, putting OTF in a lot of things. But I heard somebody named OTF Jam, they said they've been calling him a rat. Rat, 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 rat. And basically he said, okay, I'm a rat. Well, watch this. Watch this, That all this information that I know. Rat this, I'ma tell this, I'ma tell that. If somebody say Dirk name, that's all it's gonna take to say that man name. Chapter 5, Proof Against Him Around Dirk's digital interactions, flight records, and testimony from claimed co-conspirators, federal prosecutors have developed a case. Under high-stakes situations like these, it is not unusual for at least one person to flip, trading knowledge for a lowered sentence. One of Dirk's close friends allegedly engaged in precisely that, working with the authorities to evade more severe charges. This is very significant in the case of the prosecution. Should someone from Dirk's close circle offer important information, his defense may be much more more difficult. This claim switch would challenge Dirk's loyalty first approach by pushing his limitations and maybe revealing specifics about OTF's inner operations that prosecutors may turn against him. For some reason, I just don't see the comments no more. For some odd reason. I don't know. Might be the water. They kind of chilled out a little bit. I wonder why. We here though. We different in Iraq. I feel like you're speaking of parables. I'm trying to like decode it a little bit. Chapter six, lyrics reflecting real life. With lyrics that occasionally blur the boundary between fiction and truth, Dirk's songs typically reflect the life he has experienced. Songs like Backdoor and Still Trappin' appear to directly allude to his no snitching approach and his unwillingness to compromise street rules. Some view him as an artist expressing his truth, while others find these songs proof of his engagement in a risky way of life. Some of Dirk's songs have even been used by federal prosecutors prosecutors as evidence of his purportedly active participation in the M for higher operation. Now used against him, the references to loyalty, revenge, and street justice in his songs help to define him as not only a rapper, but also a character supposedly firmly committed in vicious retribution. Chapter 7. Dirk do right now today about like King Bond's nothing except slide for him positively? Is Crash that, is out? That, no, is no. It, should Little Dirk grab his Draco and just go, I don't know,
is up that he felt like are responsible or had anything to do with, um, you know, with Vaughn's death. Should he go do that today? For Dirk, the road to freedom is small, and the prosecution's case just makes things more difficult. Refusing a settlement may lead to maximum sentence, including life in prison, or depending on the jury's interpretation, even a capital sentence can motive be established. Prosecutors are depending on the weight of their proof, which includes digital traces, co-conspirator testimony, and the character of his songs. Furthermore, although Dirk's anti-snitching rule would fit his image, should he be found guilty, it might result in the toughest penalties. Chapter 8, Tragic Irony. Rest in peace to D-Thing. If he die, I don't know if he died yet. I'm here on the internet. I don't know if he died. Like, but I'm not the type of y'all gotta keep getting mad at. Like, I fuck with Dirk. He BD, I'm GD, but I still fuck with him and I fuck with his music, his movement. He making money. I'm not a hater. I love to see what he doing. Shorty up 30, 40 million dollars. Like, I love to see that because he come from, I'm from one block. He from the next block over. My daddy used to hang with Dirk Daddy. Think his brother been throwing parties for years. Nothing ever happened to D-Thing. Something just happened to him now because Dirk said he'd send his people names and songs. Really, you in a position to empower Chicago to make us a better city. You should be like, man, I ain't know none of that no more. By chance, Dirk has spent the last few years working toward a new page and transforming over. He converted to Islam, changed his name to Mustafa Abdul Malik, and even began projects aimed at returning to underprivileged areas. With mentoring and resources he never had, his Heroes for Change initiative seeks to help children raised like he did. But Dirk's past and his allegiance keeps dragging him back even if he tries to avoid the streets. Chapter Lil Dirk's possible life sentence. Is a life sentence on the table for Lil Dirk if he's found guilty? Dirk has successfully dealt with the legal system despite his earlier arrests, usually resulting in either little or no penalty. Though he has regular legal problems, his real criminal record is less than one would expect. Only one conviction from 2011 for which he served time. With his experience and capable legal team, will Dirk avoid a severe sentence this time? Or is he maybe going to spend his life behind bars? Dirk's past with the judicial system reveals a pattern of near calls. For example, he was detained in August 2016 on serious firearms allegations that may have affected his career. Dirk left without probation violations or other consequences, however, when a judge finally dismissed the charges. Like prior dismissals rulings in his favor, this arrest will not be held against him in this most recent instance. Then comes the 2019 Atlanta incident. Arrested and accused with an alleged thefts and non-lethal shot outside a well-known drive-in, Dirk and King Vaughn were at the location. Prosecutors said in the event that following the shooting, the two rappers stole a Jeep Cherokee and $30,000 from the individual in question. Following weeks of incarceration, Dirk and Vaughn were freed on quite large bonds, $250,000 and $300,000 respectively. All allegations against Dirk in this instance were withdrawn in October 2022 though. Thus, he was once more free and with his record mostly intact. Although Dirk's legal team is known for producing positive results, this time the stakes are more. The degree of these present allegations puts a life sentence under discussion. Should Dirk be found guilty, federal law's maximum penalties might apply. Although his claimed participation in a for hire scheme might result in fines and jail time. Should the court find him guilty of crimes resulting in an individual's passing, the possible sentence could be life imprisonment or possibly the capital punishment should federal policies be completely enforced. Should this situation reach that degree, the United States Attorney's Office would be obliged to seek such fines using particular procedures and rules in keeping with this level. From the kind of accusations he has encountered before, the 2014 event which he was apprehended for a criminal criminal offense aggravated unauthorized use of a nine. This would be a radical change. He was apprehended carrying a nine on a Chicago street at that time, but he escaped jail time. Dirk is now facing charges with considerably more grave implications, and his defense team has a lot more extensive battle ahead. Keep careful attention as the matter develops. Dirk's story reminds us of the great cost loyalty and street life may demand. While some admire his defense against a snitch, considering it as evidence of his values, many contend he should accept a bargain to save his future. This is a fight between allegiance and freedom, between decision between preserving his reputation and saving his life. Not only a legal struggle, Lil Dirk says the stakes have never been higher. The result of this might turn everything around, not just for him, but also for the whole hip-hop community. His sentence may be a example to set in the court. For other artists doing crimes, and they lay the hammer down and give maximum sentence, but only time will tell if they find him guilty. Will his allegiance bring to the end of his career, or will he somehow defy the odds? Only time will decide.